fresh air from the outside and it filters out the air that's in the house. Needless to say, you don't... Th this is the thing that it's on the top? Uh, it's, no. You know, you know what I mean? No, I mean like those, uh, so those, those openings, the, the openings. The openings are the um, return vents for just the, fu just the functioning of um, moving the air in the house. Because the one in the floor, it's for hot and cold, right? So that's the supply. And okay. then the return air, sort of to move, like when you put your fan on in, yeah. in your machines, um, it moves the air through the house, cycles it, so that it's even throughout the whole house. Okay. So those vents in the wall are where the air comes back in and it's cycled through like it's cycling okay? okay so your hrv it's it's a really good tool to use to help your natural services in the house for humidity levels okay. so if you have you have hardwood upstairs and you're going to have hardwood yeah. um this will help you maintain the gaps in the flooring if it's very dry out or like in the house mm. you're going to get more gaps because your hardwood is going to shrink and if it's very humid and hot in the house, it's going to expand. And it, the expanding really is when we get the damage is because they push okay. it. Right. Okay. So this the, machine does this, this is the one that you said we can replace the filter for this, this one? This one, you can wash the filter. Oh, ah, so wash the filter? Have, yeah. So okay. you just undo the two little screws. And okay. Is that the only type of maintenance that needs to be done? It with? is. Okay. And you don't have to run this full time. How can we tell that the no. filter must... <laughs> so, because you live in a construction area, yeah, I'm every month, you're gonna do it probably every month for your for that filter. What filter? The furnace filter. I'll go over it. Don't worry. Oh, okay. Um, you're gonna to want to do this thing. Okay. Just run it constantly. For Just them? no, clean the filter. Oh, yeah. So, for this machine, you can wash the filter. Okay, that's nice. Um, in your laundry tub over there. Just let it dry and put it back in. This one, you'll replace it. Okay. Mm. Um, but back to this one for now. Um. I like to kind of say that, like, tell owners, like, think of it as a window in your house. If it's nice enough outside to have a window open, that's when you want to run this. Okay. Okay? So okay. if it's really cold and blustery and dry outside in the winter, you're not going to open a window, so you don't want to have this on. So, so mainly it's a fan, not more than a right? Basically, it cycles the air, but it does, yeah. it does it's help the humidity. It. So whatever the air is outside, it's going to bring inside. So if it's very cold and... Dry. How, how can how we can how can we control the the percentage of the humidity? You can. Oh, really? I'll show you upstairs. Okay. okay. Um, so also, if it's very humid and hot outside, you're going to bring that into the house. Um, so the best times of year that you want to have this on is spring and fall. Okay. You can have it on full blast all the time if you wanted. Spring and fall is usually cold in the morning, warm in the afternoon. That's the best time to have this on. Okay. So with that said, um, there is a function, and I'll show you upstairs, that you can have like a trickle of air coming in if you do want to have this on all the time. Some people do. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I don't, but um, there's also like full fan where it's going full blast, bringing the air in and cycling it out. Okay. Uh, there's also a um, interval, like 20 minute intervals for an hour. So it'll go on for 20, off for 20 for an hour. Okay. And then it'll go back to whatever the setting was it was on previously. Okay. okay so and that's all for upstairs. the nest? No, it's in a separate panel oh, okay. above the nest, but I'll show you that. So this one, you don't have to worry about it too, too, too much. You can put it on, leave it if you want. You can not put it on. Makes me nervous. It on. <laughs> but if you need help with it, just let me know. Okay. I am here for that. Okay. Um, this is your hot water heater. Okay. It's tankless, so it doesn't store any hot water. Okay, so te technically you'll never run out of hot water because it's constantly heating it. Um, it is a gas machine, so it does vent uh, the off gassing from the like the burned gas, yeah. right? So, um, it's capped at 50, it's actually uh, Celsius, uh, it's capped at 50, and that controls the whole house, the whole house. okay? Yeah, that, that controls the heat I think, uh, <coughs> of the hot water, yeah, for the whole house, yeah. okay? So well, which, uh, excuse me, can you repeat yeah. because I was not shooting? How, how can we control the, the temperature? So, you can not put it hotter than 50 Celsius, yeah. but you can adjust it lower if it's too hot, okay? Okay. And that's so in, in your opinion, what is the because what, how how much it should keep be? it at fifty? It's, yeah. it's hot, hot like yeah. you know you would bur not burn your hand, but, but you wouldn't it. want to put your hand right. under that. Yeah, um, that's the hottest. That's standard. Now. Okay, 50, 50, right? Oh, 50 Celsius. Yeah. So fifty Fahrenheit. It's not Fahrenheit. It's Celsius. Uh, fifty Celsius. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. The machine says Fahrenheit, but it's it's Celsius. Yeah. It's okay. Celsius. <laughs> okay. That's good to know. At least All it's right. not boiling, right? All right then. No, they said they, they, it's capped at 50. We can't go higher than 50 because that would be a risk for scalding. Right. Yep. Okay. Which so good. any, uh, this is a rented machine, so you will pay rent to Enter Care. Okay. 
Um, yeah. So if there's anything that you need serviced on this machine, you're going to want to call Entercare for that, okay? Because it's okay. far less expensive for you to rent the machine. And is it is it uh, like a fixed monthly rent yeah. or it's depending on how much you use it, or? it? It'll depend on how much you use it, but Are typically it? it's fixed. They're how they will know how much we're using it? There's a meter outside. <laughs> The meter is for the electricity, right? There's the gas meter as well as there is a water meter as well. Oh. So they meter everything. Gas, water, I, I, I want my wife to listen to this. Yeah. yeah. So because we like to swim in the bath every there night. There you go. You know? So this is... So <laughs> heating it, it's, it's, I think there's a standard price. And then if there's anything that's like above and beyond that, they'll charge you for it. Yeah. However, the water coming into the house, that's what you want. Monitor. It's okay. You pay for that for how much you use. Okay. Okay. Um, so your furnace, it's also a gas fired furnace. Okay. Okay. Um, a bit of a mess here with all your manuals, but that's okay. Oh, that's our manuals. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so this is your filter. So they kept an extra filter or this is the filter? So before you close next week, we will replace this okay. um, so that it's clean. Um, especially when they clean out the dust, we don't want this coming back in. Um, so. You can get like a 12 pack of these on Amazon for pretty cheap. Yep. I would recommend doing that. Yeah. Like yeah. under $20. Okay. Um, because you're going to be replacing them so frequently. I would not recommend. They, they will, the, guys, you yeah. will show us how to replace it or it's like. Literally, you just pull it out and you put a new one in. Ah, oh, that's it? This is how you do it? it. Oh, really? That's all you do. This is what, yeah. So it's very easy. It's a standard size. The size is here. Okay. 16 by 25 by one inch. If you go to Canadian okay. Tire, Home Depot, any of those, they yeah. have them. Bulk. We're gonna do Amazon. Though. You can do cheapest. Amazon. <laughs> it is. Yep. Yeah. If you just type in, you know, uh, furnace filter that this size. This is this is at the same time for the hot and the cold air, right? Right. So your air conditioner is filtered through this. This is the distribution system for the air in the house. Okay. okay. So this is the furnace, but what about the air condition? How the, so air, the air condition, air condition will, will be? Attached. So this is the thing for the air conditioner, right? Yes. So okay. when you turn on the air conditioner on your thermostat, yeah, it'll run through the same way. Okay. It's just because the machine's outside, whereas this one's inside. Okay. okay? So um, there's not much more to this than that. Okay. Um, the filter, once a month, every six weeks would be good until either... This is to replace, this is to get, wash, right? Right. Wash. So this is the only two filters that we have right. to... Okay. Yeah. So and, pretty easy. And this, the hot water, we can turn it off or...? No, you don't need to turn it off. And there's no maintenance that don't. needs to be done on no. that. No. And if there's anything wrong, we just call under care. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So when I send you the package, there's going to be an information package on or an information sheet on emergency contacts. So once you close, if there's something that happens uh, in the first couple of weeks, days, whatever, um, you can call our emergency contact line if it's after hours. If it's during like eight to four, you can call me. Okay. Um, okay. But if it's after hours, middle of the night, any time of the day, call the emergency line. This is the, this is this is final. That's it. This is still like this. I don't see any purpose for this. Don't make me wrong. I don't know what it is. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to ask. <laughs> you know? Like, I'm not sure. And as, as, as for the internet, is it ready for us to plug it? So all you have to do is when you get Bella Rogers, they'll hook up to this box. What are you saying, Bella Rogers? Whatever service you... <laughs> or whatever service yeah. provider. No, because uh, some, like in our building, they prefer Rogers where we live, yeah, right? Yeah, it does Whatever yeah. you, you prefer, you can choose. Whatever the best rate is. And the key for this is like a screwdriver, that's it? You just do it with like a key or or anything okay. dime. So this is your uh, electrical panel. Everything is labeled on the actual breakers because some people find it a bit daunting to try and match it. So it's all labeled. It's very oh. straightforward. If you what ever is need this to space add here? anything, that's your doorbell. Okay. Okay. If you ever need to add anything, you do have a little extra space. Like there's many? There's in the house? Like No, there's, so there's one at the front door. There may be one at the back door. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but that's a low voltage chime for, for the, um, it still needs power, so that's why it's on the outside because it's low okay. voltage, so you won't get shocked anything from it. Okay. If you do, it's like very minimal. Okay. Um, <laughs> I just, I just, so I just noticed know, another, uh, if you ever get a ring doorbell, mm -hmm. something that you, like a camera for your doorbell, there is a small piece that you do need to connect to this. Okay. It's very easy. It comes with the, with the machine. Um, sometimes. It my wife, she is, my wife, she's a little bit concerned about cameras in the house. Yeah. So. If you go, I'm just letting out because I need it on my house and it fried or low voltage for the doorbell. Oh we had to get a higher voltage doorbell okay. uh, transformer. So just something to keep in mind. Okay. okay. 
So um, we've left you uh, some material. There is a box of hardwood there as well as all the tile in the house typically. Um, we'll leave that for you. They're probably, they don't typically leave any carpet because it's, if it needs to be replaced, it's a big thing. Yeah. Um, so that's also there for you guys. If they do need to come in and do any repairs to tile or hardwood, they'll pull from this first, okay? And then if we need more, they'll order more. But this is already climatized to your house. Okay. Um, so they'll always pull from that first, okay? So here we've got your, um, is this one? Anyway, sure. Your uh, laundry tub. I'm uh, just going to make sure that the closet's on the right side. It's good it's very open. Okay. I don't know why this is there though. Um, pretty straightforward. There is a water pump in the house to pump the water. Like, how does it work? So your water comes into the house from here. Out, out of the house. Into yeah, but what about out? Out of the house, they're all drained. So the drain that you see here, yeah, that uh, all the sinks have them, all your showers have them. They're just hidden. Um, yeah, but w will it go like underground or? Yeah, it, it go... goes out underground. Okay. Yeah, everything is buried. This is something that we don't have to worry about, right? Nope, you'll okay. never have to worry about. It. Hopefully, never have to worry about. It. Okay. Um, if it is, it is pretty. I mean, depending on where. And like, this is the fresh water, right? But, yeah. So that's your your water meter. So all the water coming into the house is coming from here. Okay. Okay. It goes through a meter. So this is where they monitor your consumption. So um, every month they will come here to check it. They will say no. They won't come, but they will monitor the consumption based on the city's how much you're drawing from the city. How do um, they know if this is here? They won't come. I don't know how they know. I think it's all digital now. So. Okay. I honestly don't know. That's a good question. Because to be honest, no, there is electricity, so they know. It's like, there it's, is, yeah, but yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe they this don't is, have to come in. That's this is, sure. yeah, I think it's connected somehow. Yeah. Yeah. So right now everything is on. A good way to tell if something is oh, there's on one closed is if over there. it's pointing the direction of the actual tube. If it's against mm -hmm. that, it's closed. Okay. And why this one is closed? So this is going to be for your hose bibs outside. Okay, mm -hmm. currently they're off. So okay. whenever... For our one? The hose outside. To, oh, water to wash the on. cars, yeah, okay. Yeah, so you have two. One in the garage and mm. you have one out back. Okay. okay. Um, that's that one. So that's that one and it's connected. And that's why it's off. And it's off because it's we haven't turned it on yet yeah. for winterizing. Yeah. So do we need to turn it off in the winter? We will. So yes. that it doesn't freeze? So what you do and we'll have we have info on that too. Okay. Um that I'll send to you. In the winter, right now it's winterized, so that means the lines are not full of water. Mm. So what you do in the winter is you turn it off. Yeah. You turn the taps on outside and let it just drain out as much as it possibly can. Um, and then that's what do you mean? Let it drain. So if just you turn the taps on okay. outside, and you turn this off because it'll it's like pointed, like okay. Yeah. Okay. Know you know. It'll empty the lines, and then when you turn on the spring, you can just flip it, and then you can turn on the hose outside. It might take a minute for it to come out, but mm -hmm. that's, yeah. okay. 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 What is that? <laughs> so we've got we've got to put the cap back on that, but these okay. are your backwater valves. So this is freshwater back, like if there's any backup, this is freshwater. That's city. So your drains for all your sinks and tubs and um, any water that drains out of the house, is the back water valve. So any, if it backs up ever from the city, this is where they'll come and check. Okay. okay. But they'll never, you'll never need to do anything with this yourself. Okay. 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 And this is a pit underneath. It's about two feet down in that hole. And it's okay. just for your fresh water. Uh, if it ever backs up, if they need to anything gets clogged anything like that this is where they're probably access that okay okay, okay. But you'll you'll never need to touch that okay okay not even the kids no <laughs> especially not the kids not even the kids okay so let's go up i will show you a couple of things with the nest and the um i like I this i like this tiny area we can put a lot of I'm not there is a lot of okay maybe i'm shooting okay So, when are we going to start paying the, what is the word? Paying the bills? Yeah, and like electricity hire one. Is it starting from today or when we move or? Okay, so we have 
have the function, the mode that you want to do right now is on heat. You just push it, you can change it to cool. Heat cool is like it's spring and fall, cool. but it's Okay. Okay. I'm sure you learn your sensors out. Okay. So, so heat cool means that it'll be. Do, hot do you mind? In the do you mind to repeat? Our, our house will stay hot in the morning and cool at night. Right. Whatever it needs during the day. So if it's really cold outside in the morning and you guys need some heat in the mornings, it'll it'll draw the heat. And then in the afternoon, if it's warm out and you want some cool air, it'll start. It'll kick in. And cool air will start. And that will automatically do that to if you have moderate the temperature. Okay. Yeah. So eventually, because it is a smart home system, it will start to learn your trends. So if you're here all the time, mm -hmm. you work from home, or you don't work from home, but no. if, you, <laughs> if you are, you, you turn down the or the um, the heat at a certain time every day because you're like, oh my god, it's hot in here. It'll turn yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll start to learn that. Okay. So it'll just do it automatically for okay. you. Okay. Okay. How um, did you reach this uh, panel? You push on it. It's a push yeah, button. Yeah, you just push on it. So right it's now I turned it off. So mm -hmm. right now your furnace is off. You won't hear anything. Nothing's blowing. Um, we'll turn it back on the heat because that's what we want right now. Okay. So eco mode, if you guys go away on vacation for a week, you turn on eco oh. set. It has an app as well for your phone. Okay. Um, so you can set it to a certain temperature and it'll maintain that the okay. whole time you're gone. Okay. Um, when you're coming back from vacation, you can just go on your phone and turn up or down the heat, whatever you need. Okay. And it'll be ready for you when you come back. Okay. Okay. Fan. Very straightforward, it's just a fan if you want to run that. Constantly. Just running air through the house. Yeah. For a time period, you could do it for up to like 12 hours, I guess. Okay. <laughs> um, it'll always show you, it'll go off after a while, but if, if you walk by it, it'll pop up like the, the temperature. Oh, neat. Okay. Okay. Um, there's also schedules that you can set. Oops. But we don't set humidity. So you don't set the humidity. Okay. You'll need something to actually do the humidity in the house because right now you don't have a humidifier. <coughs> okay. Um, so schedules, you can set a schedule. So every day if you want it to be 20 degrees in the morning and 18 in the afternoon, you can set that in here. Um, if you ever need to delete something, you'll see little orange circles. And that'll be your temperatures. You can take this little blue line and just scroll over click on it and it will get rid of it for you. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. So let's just, so right now I put the 21 degrees in that it is in the house right now and then I'll just maintain that. If you want to get rid of it, remove and it's gone. Okay. Okay. So go back to here. Interesting. It's very easy to use on the app. It's actually more easy to use than So we could just do it on the app on you our phone never without ever touching it. Oh, okay. 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 So it also what, what is the name of the app? It's the Nest Google Home Nest. Google yeah. Home Nest. And downstairs Nest. there is a box that we will put on This here. is Google? This machine is Google? It is, yeah. Okay. There's a box. <laughs> we will put the box up here for you with all the instructions and we do have um, information in our package for this. Okay. Um, it will show you the humidity in the house. Right now it's 30%. Is that good? It's okay. You want to get it's that up long. to about 40-45%. Okay. Maintain that year round. Okay. Very difficult to do that in the winter. Um, yeah. We had houses down to like 12% and that's where we start getting really big gaps in the flooring. Yeah. Um, anything above 50% really is going to start... too humid. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So winter I would recommend getting a humidifier for the house, for your hardwood. Um, in the summer, you don't need anything. You shouldn't, you shouldn't need anything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is for your, um, your HRV. Oh. That suspended box downstairs. Right now it's on econo mode. Um, uh, that means it's only bringing in a trickle of air at a time, just, and cycling out a trickle of air. So it's on constantly right now. Okay. You can change that. You can put it on vent, which is full blast. Oh, that's It's full. bringing in all okay. the air all the time. All the air all the time. <clears throat> uh, 20 minute intervals yeah. is what I said downstairs. It'll be on for an hour, 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off, 20 minutes for an hour. And then it'll just go off? Whatever it was on previously, it'll oh. go on that. Okay. okay. And then off. I mean, which which uh, mode is the best in your opinion? For right now, I would probably have it on the economy mode just because it's the easiest to maintain right now. Winter, turn it off all entirely. Okay. okay Summer, yeah. Days are hit or miss in the summer. You can have it on economy mode if you want yeah, to. Winter, otherwise we'll, the heater will always be well, on. It, it does kind of compete with your furnace in the winter if it's yeah. very cold outside. If you have Even in the summer, if it's warm, if it is yeah. cool inside and it's hot outside. Yeah. So I know what you mean. Okay. okay. 
so like I said, best times of year to have it on is the fall and the spring. So right now we can have it on full glass if you wanted to, but we just have it on uh, Eton. What does that do? Uh, turn it on for a second. No, maybe. There. Okay. And there's only two buttons, so okay. there's really minimal function to yeah. it. But it's... Uh, I can't figure out how to use this. It's button. pretty... It's, you'll you'll figure it out pretty easily. Okay. Yeah. So I will take I will take a quick tour in the house if you don't mind. Yeah. Um. So we're done. We are done. We need to start the whole thing. Okay. This is the girls' room. This is the boys' room. This is the laundry room. This is our room. Walk in closet. Right? Yeah. 